Preparing to start a whole new campaign is one of the most exciting things I can imagine. Embarking on an adventure with endless possibilities, unimaginable foes, with emotional highs and lows. I'm Daryl, and this is Black Country Bard. Today we prepare for our new Four Against the Darkness campaign. I'll be creating my party, beginning my adventuring journal, setting up the campaign story, and talking about role-playing elements that I'll be using throughout. Let's talk about miniatures. I'm going to be using miniatures that I already own from my Dungeons & Dragons campaigns. I won't be using these so much in-game, but between games as combat cutscenes to add some visual aspects to not only the game itself, but also the video. This is going to help with role-play elements as the campaign develops. During my playthroughs, I'm not going to focus as much on target numbers and dice rolls. As such, I'm going to concentrate on commentary. Going to be more on how I imagine the action unfolding in my head, with more descriptive battle sequences and, hopefully, some cinematic moments. To that end, I have four minis that are going to represent each of the characters that I'll be using. And I'll, I'll introduce you to those characters in a moment. But for now, we'll start our campaign journal. For this, I'm just using this A4 display folder. I have all my blank player resources at the back of the folder ready to go. And at the front is going to be, firstly, a list of the four AD books and expansions that we're going to be using. Now I have the main core book and I've also got a couple of other expansions but let me know in the comments below which expansion books you recommend or your favourite and if there's a specific one you'd like me to play through. On the next page is going to be our list of adventurers in camp. I'm going to begin the campaign story with the adventurers camping in the woods near a local town and this camp is going to be the base of operations for our group to begin with. I'm going to begin with eight adventurers in total, one for each of the main core classes, and we'll see how we get on from there. I think it's safe to say that not all of them are going to make it. We will update the campaign journal as we go, adding in the dungeon sheets that we go through and making changes where needed, so you should see this evolve throughout the campaign. Next up, we're going to create our first team of four adventurers. And for this, I've chosen not to take a longer cleric, which may be a mistake. But instead, I'm going to take a warrior, a barbarian, a wizard and an elf. Now, for each character, I'm going to give them a name and a personality using one or two traits or flaws. And this is to add a small element of roleplay to the campaign. And I'm hoping that the characters will begin to develop their personalities more throughout proceedings as the campaign evolves. Now let's introduce our first team members. Our female barbarian is Ingrid Stormcrow, quiet, strong. Ingrid seeks the thrill of battle and a warrior's death, allowing her to dine in Odin's Hall in Valhalla, and you usually find her at the front of the bow. Next is our heroic male warrior, Edric the Heroic, a ladies' man with an ego as big as his sword, not very wise but a great comrade in battle. Next up, we have our spell-slinging male wizard, Wilson, a truly gifted wizard's apprentice who left the Citadel to find his own way in the world, learning as he goes. And finally, completing our party of four is our male elf, Balin Winlands. Dignified, graceful and quite wise, an excellent tracker and deadly with a bow. These four will embark on our first quest, leaving our four remaining characters back at camp. Wish them luck and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you're looking forward to seeing the campaign unfold. That way you'll be notified of new episodes as they're uploaded. Happy hunting out there adventurers and I will see you next time.